So in the previous video, I focused a lot on the sender uh, parameter here. And let's talk a little bit about this event args. Sometimes it is event args, it's just empty. We're more interested in the fact that the event was fired. We don't need any extra information. A perfect example is a button click. You know, we're just interested in the fact that the button was clicked. We don't care about anything else. But, but uh, in some cases, we need some extra information. Let me extend this example here of the cow and instead of saying event handler here I'm going to say it's event handler if I open it up I can pass a generic argument here which is t event args right if we don't do anything we just get the default event args type but I can also pass my own event args type so let's look at a uh, let me see if I can bring up the generic one I'm just gonna drop this out here and if I hit F12 does it actually take me to the right one it does okay so event handler t event args Okay, and I believe, oh, I don't see the where clause. Maybe there is no where restriction on this generic argument. Eh, okay, whatever. Um, let me let me make a class here. I'm going to call it class cow tipped event args. By convention, we name it, we suffix it with the event args word here. And then let's just go like this. And I bet if I take this, double click, and put it right here. All right, now... We have it's we're we're getting an error here because I'm trying to pass a generic event args reference where it's expecting a cow tipped event args. So let's just new up new cow tipped event args just to make that red squiggly go away. And then I'm gonna build this. Well, actually, well, let's just build it. See if it build failed. The type cow tipped event args cannot be used as a parameter, the generic or method. Da -da -da -da. There's no implicit reference conversion from cow tipped event args to system event args. That's what I was expecting to happen. I'm not quite sure why we're not seeing that restriction in the metadata. But basically it's saying, hey, you know what? If you're going to follow this event args pattern, you need to inherit from event args. And remember, all F12 on event args, it's pretty empty, pretty boring. All right, but this, we'll, we'll go along with it. All right, cow tipped event args, let's see, let's see uh, the state of our cow. I'm going to make a public enum cow state. In fact, let's just move it out here. Sorry, this example is getting a little longer than I like to make them, but I think it drives home the point. Cow state could be living, or wait, let's say awake, sleeping, or a cow could be dead. All right, three states. And then here I'm going to say uh, public cow state, current cow state. Let's do get, and then private set, and semicolon, and go to the end here. And then I'm going to make a constructor. So basically, I want to take the cow state enum, cow state, current state, and I'm just going to save it away, current cow state. And the only, really, the only reason this whole property exists, this current cow state, is that when I instantiate this event args and I send it down my my uh, subscriber chain they can look at the current cow state and figure out oh what what's the state of the cow I'm just sending extra information so so well, the compiler's complaining here because we're not we're not sending that extra information down and you know ideally we would have some logic right here that would determine the ca state of our cow did the cow tipping over kill it did it uh, cause it to wake up or is it still just sleeping but it's not standing up anymore but I'm just gonna hard code it for now I'm gonna say cow state dot awake all right tipping over the cow caused the cow to wake up so now down here in our handler notice we're not getting a red squiggly here on the event args and that has to do with covariance and contravariance which you can see in the covariance and contravariance video but for now, I, we know that, just in short, a cow tipped event args inherits from event args. So that qualifies here. But I could do a cast, a runtime cast, and cast e to what it is. But really, I know it's a cow tipped event args, and I want that information right here in the handler. Okay? So now down here in the handler, we can say, we, na we made some, some cow moo. And now I'm going to say, you know, switch e dot, what's the current cow state? And depending on, let's see, case, cow state dot, if it's awake, you know, uh, let's run like Mater did on the Cars movie break. Uh, case, cow state dot, 
uh, sleeping, console right line, um, maybe we should tickle it. I was going to say kick it, but then I can hear my, my uh, animal-loving friend getting really mad at me. So we'll tickle it. And then, uh, oops, let's do a last case statement for that last enum value. Case, cow state dot dead. Uh, well, we can't let a cow go to waste. Let's butcher it. All right, have some steaks. Oh, I sure hope my coworker, my friend, my animal loving coworker doesn't see these videos. Okay. So there we go. There's the event args. This is why event args is so useful. If in, in some cases we need some extra information and we can use that information or we could not use it. It's totally up to us whether we do or not. Here I've decided we're going to use that information. So if I zoom out here, 10,000 foot view, maybe even more. Oh, okay. We have the cow. Hopefully you have it turned up to HD. All my videos are HDable. We have the cow. And the cow can moo and publishes this event. And when it moves, it sends this extra information down. And then down here in handler land, we're using that extra information to decide what we're going to do now that we're done tipping the cow. Let's run it. Remember, I hard-coded awake here. The cow's going to be awake. So here we go. Giggle, giggle. We made Georgie moo. So the cow this current time is Georgie and the cow's awake so we better run maybe it's an angry cow uh, let's change this and this could be we could do a random thing here in fact eh, well no I'll just leave it alone let's hard code it for now uh, let's say the cow's dead remember what we decided to do when a cow is dead we're gonna have some steaks we're gonna butcher it okay giggle giggle this time Betsy mood oh she died let's butcher her all right so anyway that's the whole point of this this video is to drive home the fact that this event handler, if you pass a more generic argument here, then we can send more detailed information down there to the subscribers uh, if, it's, if, it's, if it's necessary.